Hello, John Bloodworth Gentleman Craft here with a quick uh, tutorial on how to do multiple lines of text. Now Canvas Workspace, no matter which version you're using, doesn't support the carriage return, so you can't type a line, press enter or return, and then continue writing on multiple lines. So we have to manually create this sort of effect. And there are a couple of ways of doing it, and I'm going to show you both. This particular video will focus on Canvas Workspace for PC. That's the installed version of the software. Uh, if you're looking to use the online version, bear in mind one of the tools that we need isn't available, but we can still do multiple lines of text. So look out for the links to that other video. In the meantime, let's get rid of all of these so I can start from scratch. I'm going to go and select the text tool. That's this icon over here with the T on it and I'll just bring the mat back into the center. <clears throat> Grab my text tool again and I'm just going to click anywhere and then start typing. So let's go for happy birthday to you. Now as you can see if I press enter all that does is confirm my entry. It doesn't bring me onto a new line so I can't continue typing on separate lines. Now as I said there's a couple of ways of doing this so we're going to start with the first way which is by opening up the Edit tab over on the right. So normally when you load things up, you're on the Properties tab, so you'll need to access the Edit tab. Go down here, make sure your object is selected. Go down here, and then where it says Process Overlap, we're going to click on Divide. And that will separate this all out into individual letters. What I'm then going to do is select each word or each collection of letters that make up a word and press Control G on the keyboard to group them so that they act as one object. So if I go over to the Layers panel now, you'll see I'll have four groups, one for each word. Now what I need to do is move them below each other. I'll bring them into the center so we can see what we're doing. I'll make them a bit bigger. So now we need to go back to the Edit tab and we've got options down here under Align and Distribute. So the Align options will basically line them up either left or right or centrally. Um, obviously these bottom ones won't be relevant because otherwise you'll end up squishing them all together. But if we have them all selected and we go for let's say left, we can align them all to the left. If we want them evenly spaced, these distribution tools are what we need. Now these are the tools that are, not, that are not available in the online version. So working with multiple lines of text is better in Canvas Workspace for PC. Distribute objects here, these two options, this vertical one is the one we're going to use. But what that will do is take the distance from the top to the bottom and then spread your objects out over that distance. So if I click that, you won't see much of a change, but they have just moved so that they're evenly spaced. These options down here will actually distribute them uh, according to the measurement you've set. So if I want them 10 millimeters apart and click on that, you can see that that will change and it will spread them out by that distance. So the difference is this, this one will spread it out based on your selection. This one will spread it out based on this dimension you, that you put in here. Okay, that's the first way of doing it. The second way is slightly different, but we get to the end result. So I'll delete that text. And what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to type each word separately. So now I have the same phrase and once all of those are selected I can again use the distribute objects and the align objects to spread them out and if I move that up a bit select them all again align them and distribute them you can see how that takes the total height and then divides it up the difference is the first way you won't be able to go back and edit your text this way however you can go back in and correct any spelling mistakes so that's good if you want to create something where you're going to change a name to lots of different names in the future. This way you've got editable text. 
Now if you want to keep that arrangement, obviously just group it as well and then you can change the size and change the layout accordingly. Anyway, that's it for Canvas Workspace for PC. Obviously, as I mentioned, if you want to look at how to do that with the online version, uh, then do look out for the links to that video. Please also make sure to like and subscribe. And of course, if you have any questions, comments or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below the video. In the meantime, thanks for watching.